gonna be doing more Animal Crossing. My villagers are not gonna go down the path of uh, getting annoyed at me. <laughs> at least not until I eventually stop playing, but... Anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying. It is 10, well, it's 9.47 um, here in Australia, but I'd set the clock to be different. Okay. Let's see where my town is today. Uh, hello, who are you? Ah, uh, hey, you. You're the mayor of this town, right? Sorry to drop by uninvited. I came here today to ask a favor of you, Mr. Mayor. You see, I was wondering if you'd let me open up shop in the shopping district. I don't know who you are, but yeah, do it. That's my request in a nutshell. So what do you think? I, I don't care what kind of shop do it. Well, you mean it? You didn't even ask what kind of place I'm planning on opening. Mr. Mayor, you've got the natural rhythm of a world-class comedian. Still, I should explain what establishment I plan to open. I want to bring entertainment to everyone. And oh, yes! With a live venue, club, lol. Hmm. You don't seem as excited as I thought you'd be. But, I'm not worried. Seeing as how easygoing you are, Mr. Mayor, I feel confident you'll love it. Anyway, Mr. Mayor, since you're, you've agreed to my plan, I'll need a little more help to make it come true. Truth is, I actually went down to Town Hall and talked with your secretary, Isabel, first. Live venues can be a little on the noisy side, and some people might complain about that. She said if I want to open one, I'd need your permission and signatures from some of the residents. Since you've given me the green light, all that's left is to collect the signatures. And I just happen to have, that's right, a signature sheet. So, get out there and get some signatures. I was waiting for a response there. Did you shout, do it yourself inside? Maybe? Yes? No? I see. Regardless, I really want to ask for your help with this, Mr. Mayor. After all, I think this would get a lot would go a lot quicker if people were asked by someone familiar like you. It'd be weird if a stranger like me started going, Hey, want a club? You know what? Kind of right, but at the same time, it's it's your business, man. Like, you know. <laughs> I've already talked with the other shop owners, so all I need are six signatures from town residents. I'm going to be preparing for the grand opening, so I'll probably be in the shopping district a lot. If you collect all the signatures or just need to talk to me, check there first. Well, thanks for the help. This is new. This isn't in uh, New Horizons, this axolotl character. I, I haven't seen him in New Horizons, so this is something completely new to me. from Gulliver. Oh yeah, right, we... Dear well, a lot has happened since I last saw you. I'm studying Kempo in China. Hiya, here's a gift from China for you. Just like I promised. Enjoy. How to get the... I forgot how you got the attachments out of this. Red Tassel Lantern, that sounds nice. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a hoodie, I like it. Sure, a little variety, why not? Oh, it's on the wall. Okay. Hmm. 
That's a... I mean, that's the best I can do. In New Horizons, you can, uh, move them along the wall. I know my organization is horrible. Like, I should sort this properly. I should. Alright, I guess... I'll go sell first and then I'll go get some signatures. Hmm, Will? You're still alive? Where are you been? You disappeared without saying anything to anyone, so I've been pretty worried, you know. I heard some other people say they've seen you just like normal. Maybe cry, you big meanie. Yeah. The guilt, tri the guilt trips will continue until I I've been here on a regular basis. Oh no, yeah, yeah, no, they... They make you feel it. Where have you been? You know, we used to have a mayor that would have- that had your name. And looked a little bit like you. But I think he was more handsome. Where's my stylus? There it is. Ooh, that looks nice. An exotic wardrobe. I'll take it. A suitcase. A trunk. My apologies for using the incorrect terminology. A sleek carpet. Uh, show me what it looks like. That doesn't look that good. What about... Robo wall. <laughs> I can make I can make my house into a lab. I'll take it. I mean, it's probably better than what I have. Oh yeah, there he is. Ah, he's gonna fix this up, okay. But yeah, I, I want to see at least um, just some of the, the content, right? Like, there's still a bunch I haven't experienced in this game. And then once I do that, we can look at doing New Horizons again. Okay, nothing. I gotta remember to... I need to keep just buying stuff. Um... I'll buy these. Sure. It's just in the interest of... Shop's potentially becoming better, you know? <laughs> I mean... Hmm... 
Wait, does the upper level here? Oh, the... That's probably going to become something. I love the music in this area. Alright, let's go collect signatures for this lazy axolotl. I don't know. I, I don't like those things. They're funny if people are visiting, but otherwise it's, it's not. I can see why they didn't bring them in New Horizons. Eventually I will get around to the business of, like, making things look nicer. I have way too many trees. Sure, that would be the one. Signature. Hello there, Will. Running into you is always such a nice surprise. Quite so. Was there something you wanted? Quite so. Signature. Wow, this is the kind of initiative I can support. Are you behind this great idea? Of course I'll help. Quite so. Just show me the dotted line. There you go. Looks like you still need a bunch of signatures, so get out there and grab them. You can do it, Will. I would laugh if, like, this dude is getting me to get signatures for his nightclub, and then the dude just opens it behind my house. <laughs> just, it's like, oh, what, what? You, you collected the signatures? Did you not want this? here today. Okay, um... Welcome to my gallery. So this dude's a scam artist, just so you know. Oh boy, cousin, when was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you, this week's item is as rare as they come. I'm almost green with envy that I can't buy more. But remember, we only sell one item per customer, so make your choice very carefully. So, you know, this little fox is a scam artist, and generally speaking, w one of the pieces of art is going to be real, the rest of them, they're going to be fake. So, I need to... Ugh. 
because I don't know. Like this, this is. Unless you you know the pieces of art, which I don't. I need pictures. All right, so I brought up the guide. What do we got? We've got all right the statue. Well, that's Michelangelo's David. I know that one. Um, if he has a towel on both shoulders. Oh, I see. This is fake. Okay, I see. Yep, this is fake. Alright, the Mona Lisa. Uh, let's see what's fake about the Mona Lisa. It's so hard to tell. This has pictures, so I can see it. Um, in the real painting, Mona Lisa's right hand will be on top. If, in the fake one, Mona Lisa's left hand will be on top. This is the real one. Alright, so this one's real. Uh, okay. Uh, what's this one? Uh, the headband is orange when it's fake. Alright, so that's fake. And the last one is... I can't tell what that is. Oh, this one. In the real painting, the woman in white is small. Roughly one quarter of the painting's height. In the fake painting, she is roughly half the height. So this is fake. Okay, so the real one's the Mona Lisa. Got it. I'm selling it for 3300 the 3920 bells. This time and this time only. Yeah. So you donate it to the museum and it becomes part of your art gallery. But you don't the, the kicker is you buy one of these and then you don't get to find out until the next day if it's real. When he's well out of town, like little scam artist. Okay, uh, I need to make sure the mailbox is don't worry. Oh, Frigga moved out. Okay. You can't hang it in your home. Uh, eventually you get duplicates, so yes, you can. But you should donate it to the museum first. Because it's completing the museum. Otherwise you'll never complete the museum. So... You can always buy fake ones and just put the fake ones around your house. Yeah, I mean, the choice is yours. One contributes to society and one just uh, puts it above your bedroom. So I've done it again, Well, I buy a lovely wall every time I go shopping. Now I've got too many, check it. Now I own pretty much every single one of these to ever hit- Oh yes! Hmm, interesting. Usually they go for 1,080 but few- wait. Want to buy one at a high price? What? He's- okay. 
is 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 there a po is there a positive side to this? Like, is this something where this is a trick, and I'm gonna get something else for buying it at the high price, or is this like this dude is just out of his fucking mind? It's like, what do you mean? Well, no, it could like it could just be one of these things where he just goes, "Oh wow, I I, I was just kidding." Uh, here, have this as well. I'll buy it. What? Why'd you do that? I was sort of kidding, but if you're fine with it, I'll take the bells. Wow, now I feel bad. I'm glad I decided to talk to you about it. What? Signature, please. You want me to sign a sheet to help build a club? I love clubs. That's nice. I always thought I'd... It'd be great to have something like that in town. Check it. I'd love to cooperate. Where do I sign? Don't... Don't you move. Don't you move. Don't... Don't you move. No, no, no. You're officially on timeout. You're staying in that. You are staying here. This is your house. This is your house now. Yeah. Hey, listen. Normally I charge uh, 1,900 bells to fill in these holes. But how would you like to pay double? How would you like to pay 3,800 bells for me to fill in these holes? Wish you could move the camera so you could see around the trees. I mean, you can kind of, not really. I thought he was going to give me like a bonus gift or something. Back off, evil doer. I. Oh, oh, was I just dreaming? I didn't get enough sleep last night. At you. Well, uh, I'm seeing you a lot today. At you. Sign it. Signatures. What are you planning? A club in the shopping district. Nice. Now nah, you're getting serious, Mayor Will. I'm all over it. Let me sign. Okay there, I hope you get all the signatures you need. That's it! I have to go get a medicine. Or she will spread the contagion. I should just push her all the way to where Colton is and just put them in the circle together. And once Colton is well sick, then I'll let her out.
God, I don't know what I, what I, what I expected, really. <laughs> the Rona? Jeez. I'll take it. Uh, balloon chair? And this thing. I'm a little disappointed in the balloon system, but it's okay. Check that he's still here. Yeah, he's still here. <laughs> he's on timeout. Try to pull that again. Yeah. <laughs> What's the latest? Kind of out of the blue, but do you ever do any cooking? All the time. a boy, cooking takes more skill and strength than people think. Me? I always get called back home around the holidays to be the hero of feast preparation. Achoo! You're looking at me weird. Achoo! Talk to me. Alright, this Sunday, we're gonna have 2023's first summer fireworks show. Are you going to stay at home and chill, or are you going to get rowdy? What? What are you asking me? Me? I usually wait until that day to decide- Aren't you? I can't give her medicine? These clothes were made from someone from any town. <laughs> it's an original design. I think it's named Shirt. That's amazing. This stuff made it to a different town. It's so cool. Achoo! You can pick up dust from a carpet using tape. Stick that tape down, peel it off, stick it down, peel it off. Keep on doing that until you zone out. It's a good way to clear your head when you're riled up. Achoo! I can't give her. I can't give her medicine. In New Horizons, you give them medicine and they thank you. I took the medicine. <laughs> okay, well. I guess she's just sick. Hold on, my tea. Because this isn't a the thermos, so I need to drink it. I tried, I really did. I was looking out. Tea am I drinking? Uh, it's called tummy tea, but it's like it's got peppermint, fennel, licorice. It's actually pretty good. You taste more peppermint than anything, but yeah, licorice root, I should say. Good nighttime tea. Um, let's see if there's anyone in the shop. He 
he's awake! Grace, you kidder, you. Oh well, welcome to the shop. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you bothering my wife? What? Oh, Cyrus, don't be silly. This is our new mayor, Will. You've been in town quite a while now, but my Psy guy is always sleeping since he's tired. I guess you two haven't had a chance to properly meet yet. Well, you serious? I'm shocked I haven't met him until today. Sorry to get up all in your face like that. It's just how my poppy raised me. What, to be insecure? <laughs> you ever dealt with an alpaca poppy? Well, don't. I am Reese's partner, Cyrus. I like messing with old furniture and refurbishing it to turn it into something new and interesting. My Psy guy is the very best when it comes to refurbishing. He can change the paint, redo the upholstery. If Cyrus gets his hands on it, any piece of furniture can become wonderful in the blink of an eye. Ain't that the truth, haha. <laughs> if you've got any furniture you're sick of, why not bring it here before you toss it? I'll turn it into something so great it'll be like it's reborn in you. But I better not catch you making goo goo eyes at my wife. Or I'll make you see things in 4D. Yep. Damn it, she doesn't move further in. I was going to try and make her walk, and then I was going to say something, but just literally right behind him. But this also works. Oh, what's that? I'm, I'm looking at your wife. Behind, literally behind your back. Hmm, <laughs> nothing happened. Wow. Very insecure. Yep, yeah, that's just like... Big insecurity. Low trust. Has a possession more than he does a wife. <laughs> oh, what? You, you're planning on digging your way out, Colton? Go on, I'd like to see you try. Well? No? Ah. Okay, let's... So I can look like a lab. Or, uh... Wow, this, this color scheme. <laughs> I'll keep it. This is, this is my room now. It is lovely. Very colorful. Hell yeah. I have a, a very colorful personality. In case you didn't know. Super colorful. Hmm. 
Zach can't. Yeah. Just the essentials, you know? I'll probably get rid of it at some point. At some point. Not now. I need more signatures. Signature. Yo, Yo well, good to see you. Please sign it. Mm, what's this campaign for? I'm gonna refuse it if it sounds silly. Huh? A club over on Main Street? Well, hot diggity, that sounds great. I'll happily sign. Give it. Here you go. I'm looking forward to the club, so hurry up. Alright. Hey, Mrs. Ham. Love the game. Appropriate for it for the time. Yeah, I'm just kicking back. I've had a long day. I have a request, Mr. Mayor. So, there's only so much patrolling and glaring a guy like me can do. What we need is a police station. Police stations are great because, well, they have police. I'll tell Isabel. Think on it, Count. You can have police stations in this game? I'm intrigued. What is it? Good to see you. So, did you need something? What's the latest? Uh, actually, there's something Colton asked me to pass along, but I'm too busy to deliver it. It would be a hu huge help. I'm on it. Okay. Hmm, I wonder where Colton is. I haven't seen him in a while. Hey, Colton, do you know where Colton is? Last time I saw him, he was put in timeout for being a dick. Okay, now I'm not letting you out. You're still in timeout. How do I have a long day if I work from home? What's That's got nothing to do with it. If you still have a lot to do for work, you can still have a long day. Do you have deadlines to meet? That's like when my mom used to say, how can, how can you be tired? You work on your computer all day. Like, that's... It's got nothing to do with anything. How dare you be tired if you don't do physical labor? If you're not outside using a farming hoe for eight hours, how can you be tired? Turn that in. I think that's a rare one as well. Never get into the business of comparing pains or trying to make pain relative to yours. If someone says they're tired, they're tired. No one wins when you do that. Okay. 
Signatures from a club, a loud, preposterous hang up for hipsters and the youth. Is this. What? Is that. What? Sounds great. Of course I'll cooperate. <laughs> what do I look like? An old curmudgeon? Not me. Curmudgeon. I think Main Street is about to get a lot livelier. Curmudgeon. What is that word? Curmudgeon apparently means a bad-tempered person, especially an old one. Alright, there you go. Learnt a new- learnt a new word too. That's me, what, curmudgeon? I mean... I don't get angry for no reason. I like to think I'm pretty relaxed. Look, I, I might get, like, salty at games, but it's not nowhere near, like, people that get rage angry and break things. I've never done anything along those lines. And generally, I laugh about that stuff. It takes a lot for me to get angry. Yeah, donate first. How many signatures is that? That's four or five? I can't remember. I think I need at least one more. I can play the boss of Mario and Luigi again. I, th I think the boss that I got more annoyed at was the one before the last boss. Imagine breaking your own belongings after slaving for it. I knew someone that, um, I forgot what game we were playing, but he got angry for losing, and he said, hang on guys, I'll be back in a second, and then you just hear us, like, this crack sound, and he broke his own keyboard over his knee. So, there are people that do that. He also threw a bowl of foodie out on his desk, off the desk once as well. There are people that yell. I don't- I don't yell. Like, sometimes I'll emphasize and, like, make noises for comedic effect, and it's both a reflex, but also a comedic effect, you know? But I think on- on the grand spectrum of gamer rage, like, I'm about- I can get to about a six. Six out of ten. It's like probably the worst I've gotten is seven. Eight and between eight to ten, that's where like stuff gets broken. So I think I'm okay. Did Colton change clothes? Or am I imagining it? Colton, how, did you get... Did you get dressed whilst in timeout? I mean... I see what's going on here. We got asked to make a police station. I think I know why. Someone is quite clearly committing the crime of public nudity. Indecent exposure, Colton. I, I have an anonymous tip to make a police station. I think I know why now. Yeah. Don't worry, buddy. I'll, I'll make that police station. We'll catch that deviant in the act and then send him to jail.
So who's... Hang on, let's see. Uh, I got Serrano. I got... Flips. I got Statics. I got Paulas. So that's four. I got Colton. I think I got... I, I think I have six signatures already. I like a house though. It's like very on point in terms of colors. Signature, please. What's this about? A signature to drive to open a club here? Well, I have only one answer for that. Yeah! I'll totally sign that cannoli. There you go, and it looks like you filled your sheet. Can't wait for that club, Cannoli. Hey, Laura. Yeah, this game's nice. It's very wholesome. That reminds me, I've been meaning to try Cannolis, but I just can't find anywhere that does them. It's something that I've heard about in media so much. Alright. Well, I mean, this is not... We'll see this in a couple days, I assume. There you go. Really? Then can you give me the signature sheet? Okay. There you go. Love them. Yeah, I've heard they're really good, but I just haven't really found a place that does them. Not that I've looked too much, but... Yeah. As long as I can get the permit I need, all that's left to do is the necessary construction. I'm not exactly sure when I'll be able to open to public, though I'll do my best to hurry. I plan on opening my place in the basement here. Feel free to stop by any time and see how it's going. Oh, before I forget, thank you very much. Okay. Um, I guess let's talk to Isabel about getting a police station. No Italian bakeries. I mean... Uh, I feel... I think the thing is, I'm, I have been to Italian bakeries, but not at a point in time where I was, like, paying attention and going, I am seeking cannolis, you know what I mean? It's one of these things that, as of late, it's just a curiosity that I want to try. It's kind of like how I always wanted to try egg rice. Like, Japanese omu rice thing. And, uh, yeah. That, that's only like a recent thing. Oh, sure. Later. Oh, well, right, you have to schedule it. Anytime after 12.30pm. Uh... Crap. <laughs> what time would that be here? What's the in-game time now? It would- it would be 11... it would be in another hour. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, that's fine. I think. Because I've had- I've had to change... I've had to change it. Hold on. Oh, this isn't like New Horizons where it shows the clock. Oh no, there it is, there it is, there it is, hang on. I just need to sit there for a minute. It's 11.35, so it's like... Hang on, in... 55 minutes. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess this is why I wanted to play New Leaf, because a lot of people told me that New Leaf... Hello, who's this? Tucker, apparently, is moving to the spot. So New Leaf has more to do in terms of activities, but it, you can't do nearly as much in terms of decoration. Like, the decoration in this game is really shallow. You can't do a whole lot. Only inside your house. You can't control where villagers move in, they kind of just pop in anywhere. But in terms of the stuff that you do in the game, it's way more stuff. And you have way more fruit as well. Like, I'm growing bananas on the beach. And these, where are they? Somewhere around here. Yeah, these are gonna be mango trees. I need, I need to get an axe so then I can chop down these unnecessary trees. Uh, I have lemons as well. Which I wish were in New Horizons. Durian, not so much. Um, lychee. Why didn't they combine the features? Don't know. No idea, to be honest. It is a mystery. I guess because they focus more on the... the fact that you can decorate your island a lot more. So what we lost in that regard, we kind of gained in... like, how powerful it is in terms of decorating your island. To the point where you can completely reshape the thing if you want. So, whatever comes next for Animal Crossing, I'm hoping it's a mix of this game and New Horizons. That'd be the best of both worlds. I think I found all the fossils. Yeah, okay. Isabel. Hello, Mayor Will. Is there something you'd like to inquire about? Uh... <laughs> can I report Colton as being problematic? Uh, citizen satisfaction, advice for living... Oh no, I have to sit at my desk. I don't ask, dare ask about satisfaction because I'd stopped playing this game for four months, apparently. Public work projects. Oh. Okay. We can't start the pol we can't start the police station. Heaven forbid a game does more than two things at once. I guess I need to. I really need to work on this bridge then, huh? Oh man, this is going to take forever. I just donated all my money. There is a rumor that they're remaking the first Animal Crossing. I was kind of surprised that they, uh, they stopped supporting New Horizons so quickly. Like, they just did one DLC for it and that, that was it. Uh, 
Cool, all of them. <laughs> nah, that's it. Uh, I'm trying to think what the best way to make money is. I could go fishing. Uh, but I think I have to plug in my headset to do that. <laughs> the thing is, so the audio is going from the 3DS into the computer and then to my wireless headset, so... There's a little bit of latency, and because of the fishing, you kind of need to hear it. I need to plug the headset directly into the 3DS, otherwise I, I kind of miss most of the time. It's not horrible latency, but it's enough to miss the, uh, the reel in. The one thing I do appreciate is tools not breaking. Good love on you, Animal Crossing. It's a COVID game. Yeah, that game, honestly, it came out at, at the right time, didn't it? It just made time and lockdown just that much more bearable. As, as bad as it was. But we'll see. It's just a rumor, like, there's nothing... It's just one of those things that... Hopefully it's true. Just a sea bass. I mean, there's there's been a bunch of rumors that have kind of been circling for a while and nothing's ever come of them. Like, they were saying that the Wii U remakes of... Well, the Wii U remasters of Twilight Princess and uh, Wind Waker were supposed to be coming to Switch as well, but they, they just... They've never popped up. So, it's all grain of salt until you see it. Or the best, the best rumor is like, ba almost every year that's like, oh, the Switch Pro. It's like, dude, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, even a broken watch is bro is correct twice a day, you know? Eventually, yes, they will get it right. But that rumor's come out oh, like at least five times. And nothing ever surfaces. And when they do get it right, they'll be like, see, told you so. It's like, yes, because, like, it's, it's been almost seven years now. Like, logically, they would be releasing a new console in the next year or two. Ooh. I thought it was going to be on three. <laughs> I got too antsy. What was that? What? It went around in a circle. Yeah, 
I need to finish my tea. There we go. This analog stick. That's the one thing that I don't like about the DS is just the thumbstick thing. I mean, I get it. It had to be like that so it would fit when folded. Oh, I don't have room for it, really? Oh, I didn't donate the fossils like an idiot. Um, Seabass goes. Yours broke what? Broke the thumbstick? Shouldn't get angry at video games. That's what happens when you get too angry at video games. You break controllers. You need to be more of a chill person like me. I haven't broken a single controller ever. Got to donate the fossils. But I'm glad I'm here because I gotta donate fish now anyway. It, wait, it just broke off after too much running. What does that even mean? Does drift on the Joy-Con count as breaking? No, because that is a common defect. It doesn't count. It's something that is is just inevitably going to happen to a controller, no matter how careful you are. If there wasn't like a massive court case over the Joy-Con drift, then yeah. Oh, Nintendo having the goal to say it wasn't a widespread problem. That was- that was the best thing. Oh! Like I said, there was a duplicate. It became a duplicate. I got it worse. My Pro Controller did drifting, which there's no remedy for it. My Joy-Cons were fine. Okay, you look a little tired. It's always good to take a break. I am a little tired. Thank you for noticing.
get a new outfit? This is a new outfit. Hey, well, I know this is kind of coming from Alpha, but I was thinking maybe it's time for me to try an image change, you know? So, could you maybe think of a greeting for me to use? Alright, let's get right to it. Um, a greeting. I like doing stuff along these lines. Yeah. It feels kind of weird, but right at the same time. So now he's just going to say haha at random points in the sentence. I mean, I think nowadays you can just call Nintendo and say, hey, my controller is acting up, it's drifting, and kind of no questions asked, you send it to them and they fix it. of the lawsuit thing. At least in Australia that's the case. I've heard <laughs> some cases they don't even fix it. They just send you a whole new controller just because it's easier. It's just crazy. I have controllers that are like coming on 20 years old and they're still working perfectly fine with their analog sticks. And it's not like they haven't been used. Just consider the, the Nintendo 64's analog stick, how bad that thing was. And the controllers I have are still functional. that a new fish? No. I'll mix up my money-making activities. They're still fruit together. What? Ugh, I reeled that in. I guess I wasn't quick enough. Ooh. 
Ha-ha! What was tiring about my day? I mean, I don't want to go into specifics. Just, it was long. I had a lot to do. I had a lot of people to talk to. Like, going from one thing to the next, pretty much, without any breaks. fruit once I saw these fish. Oh, wait, I should donate first. I should see which ones are the ones I need to donate, then sell. I don't want to sell a fish that I needed to donate. I kind of wish the theme in this area would play a bit more often. I do appreciate that the stuff like the museum, the things that get upgraded progressively in New Horizons. Don't talk to anyone unless you're on the phones. Oof. And that's like a mixed bag for you, isn't it? It's just like <laughs> you pick up the phone and it's roll the dice whether or not the person is annoyed. I wish I would have checked this game out in, in its prime, because some of the features do look nice. And it would have been cool to check out the, uh, the part where you can go see other people's stuff. I just never really got to experience the 3DS that much, like when I got one. It was, I think, I had it for maybe two months and then the Switch got announced, so then I ordered the Switch and when the Switch came in, 
That was that was it. If it wasn't for the streaming thing, I probably would have never played some of these games. But I thought it'd be a good idea to get like the capture card and well, okay, I say capture card. Get get the 3DS uh, converted over so it can stream. you got a 3DS was to play Kingdom Hearts. I got a 3DS because I wanted to play A Link Between Worlds and... Um... I think it was... Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and whatever, Sapphire. Like, the remix of Ruby and Sapphire. And then Metroid 2... Return of Samus and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga remakes were done. I just didn't play the last two because the Switch came out. So, uh, I will play Metroid, the Metroid 2 remake at some point. I have to. And, you know, I got Ocarina of Time remake and Majora's Mask remake as well on them. The Link Between Worlds is so good. I mean, it definitely played into nostalgia because of the soundtrack. There were certain elements where I kind of wish it would have played a little bit more like A Link to the Past, but I was fine with it. Like, the rental system, I think, was something that I could have done without, but otherwise, the game was fantastic. I, I haven't played a Kingdom Hearts game, but it's something that... When that series first came out, I was really interested in... in it. Um, but the thing was, it was on the PS... it was on PS2, right? And those things were expensive. Just not a chance we we're ever going to own a PS2. That was your first DVD player. Yeah. Ours was like some dodgy off-brand one that for some reason had better DVD compatibility than most DVD players. I don't know how that worked, but... Not only would it... Do you remember how old the original DVD players that came out? That's that's about all they could do. They couldn't do anything else. Like, if you wanted to play that dodgy VCD format or... Like, a music disc or something, it would just have issues. But meanwhile, this thing, like, played everything. Um, and you couldn't play uh, DVDs you made yourself, either. For some reason. Like, sometimes it just didn't like them. I'm not excited? Come on, take my stuff. You know you want to. Anyway, I don't remember where I got half my stuff, so it's not like it's a big deal to me. I think, honestly, that's when Nintendo dropped the ball with the GameCube. They should have just made it with DVDs, and it probably would have done a lot better. Alright, there. I have, uh... <laughs> I have this now. I have, a, I have a change of outfit, thanks to Flip. The funny thing is about the Kingdom Hearts game is I have them. I just haven't played them. It's one of those things that I was able to get pretty cheap. 
And then I was like, ah, I'm sure I'll play it at some point. The old, like, Steam mentality. I think Steam ruined me when it came to that. I've been doing that- I've been doing that less and less. All of them? I'm not sure. I, like, one of them had a compilation that had a bunch of games on it. Um... So, uh, it's like the story so far is like what it was labeled as. So I would assume it has everything so far. And then, you know, of course, 3 came out on the PS4. So that's what I have. But it's only because it was cheap. Uh, I figured that maybe at some point. That's what Steam did to me. <laughs> That's why, like, I, I have a box of games at my feet. So then, before buying anything, I just look, I'm like, yeah, I mean, is this something that I'm realistically gonna play now? Or is it something that's just going to get added to the box? And that's why I've been better with that stuff. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about in terms of the plot there, like... But I'm sure it's enjoyable for the reasons listed. I have nothing to contribute other than happy that it makes you excited. I mean, if enough people ask about it, I'll, I'll probably end up playing it. But so far, I think you're the only one that's that's asked about it. I gotta do all the side games. I don't think I have time. It would be like a... Check out one of them, see if I enjoy it, and see if people enjoy watching it, and then it goes from there. With the Yakuza games, for example, I played the first one. And my plan was, alright, I'll play the first one, and see how it goes. And after playing the first one, I immediately went and played the second one, because people enjoyed it a lot. And I definitely enjoyed it a lot. And here I am, like, a couple years later, having played, like, five of them and the spin-off game. And I'm planning to play the rest of them. But that's only because people genuinely really enjoy when I play those games, and I have a really good time. So. As long as it- as long as it fits in within that, then sure. That's a nice sign. Okay. Hey, PJ Gamer, how's it going? I didn't find the rock that had the bells, I don't think. I think I got the one with the gem, but not the one that had the bells. Let me have a look. But I mean, another series that I, like, there's two other series that I've kind of been interested in but never played a game in them. Devil May Cry and, uh... 
the Metal Gear series. I guess Bayonetta as well, to some extent. Like, people have told me that it's fun. Uh, Pikmin, but I think Pikmin, I'll probably check one of those games out. Since all of them are going to be available on the Switch, so it's probably a good time to try. And the new one just came out. Devil May Cry is good. I've heard. And I'm pretty sure we're like at a point where you can play all of them. Um, up to date. It's kind of a good time to get into certain series with all the collections and remakes out there now. There it is. But yeah, I mean, time. <laughs> it's just... I wish I had more time. This isn't, like, my full-time thing. I'm gonna see what, what we can do to this blue chair. Since the furniture thing is now open. I've kind of been itching to play a Castlevania game and a Pokemon game lately as well. So you'll probably see those in like the near future. It's just, I, I wish that... I wish that the new Pokemon games were in a better state, so to speak. I don't know which Pokemon game, but it's not going to be the new ones. I just don't want to give money. Just because of the state in which those games launched, and uh, apparently they still haven't fixed performance issues on it. And random bugs. Did I play the new Pokemon Snap? I did, yeah. I didn't finish it though, but I wasn't planning to. I played it quite a bit. That was fun. I, I really liked that one. It was very well done. The wood color. What do you suggest? Dark blue? Yeah. Doesn't show a preview. I mean, I was leaning towards either doing Arceus or like being a complete madman and trying to do um, Pokemon Red and try and complete it like legit, 100% it. Catch all 151 like I did as a kid. Because I can, I can do that legitimately. I have, I have the technology. And I'm not talking about emulators, I'm talking about physical Game Boy units to be able to trade between the two and be able to stream it. Just to show how much it, it took to finish those games. Like, I have the technology. I can do it. Admittedly, Mew, you, we'd have to rely on the glitch, but it's still attainable. But it's like, the goal would be get all 151 Pokemon. The legitimate way. With the exception of Mew, which we have to do the glitch, but... Un unless you can convince um, GameStop to bring back the machine from 1996. Uh, yeah. There's no other way to get, get Mew.
I did hear Arceus was a lot of fun, but I, th I think at the time there was just other stuff I wanted to play. So I, I never checked that out. But uh, from a lot of people I heard it, it was good once you got past the tutorial. But the tutorial was probably the only negative thing you can say about that game. I mean, the visuals are the visuals. It's, it's Pokemon. They're never going to be top tier. But the gameplay was good enough. So, yeah, I heard, I heard the same sentiment from most people that played that game, that it was, it was good. Whereas in, with the new ones, it's like... I hear that it's definitely one of the more... What's the right way to say it? It's like... What it does is cool and refreshing. The problem is it's just buggy. That's the problem with it. So, I'll, I'll figure it out. There's a lot of glitches that happen, yeah. I watched a little bit of gameplay and I, I have seen what happens. So that's why it's it's been hard to want to buy that game. It's just uh, yeah, I don't know. I think maybe eventually, once the Switch is, like, end of life, then I'll consider picking them up, because here's the thing about Pokemon games, if you're trying to get them way after the fact, they become expensive. Even if it's a ba even if it's one that wasn't, like, considered that good, it'll still become expensive, once it's, like, no longer sold. still have your original red and blue games. Mine are with my younger brothers, but I did end up getting a copy of them later, so... Whilst I don't have my childhood cartridge, I still have copies of them. Like, I have red and blue and yellow, gold, silver, and, uh, crystal. I am so glad I have Crystal. <laughs> Crystal is one of those ones that has become expensive to acquire again. And then I have, of course, the superior, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver remakes. Those, those remakes were so good. Ah, damn it. I hate it when it does that. I think the only ones I don't really have are the the Game Boy Advance ones and a few of the DS ones. You're sad to find out your game is gone because of the battery. Yeah, unfortunately, all Game Boy games go that, that way eventually. But you can replace the battery at least and make it good as new. It's not too bad to do. But 
where your file is gone. Yeah, the file is, is going to be gone. Yeah. Unfortunately. But that doesn't mean that the game can't be made to function again, you know? I think the coolest thing I got was like the... On Etsy, there's uh, someone that makes DS cases that fit Game Boy games in them, and then you can have the artwork printed on it. So that's what I got for a few of my Game Boy games, so they're not just floating around. And they look really good. It's nice to see the box art and everything on them. It's just a shame they had to make those boxes out of cardboard. <laughs> I think that's, like, one thing that I wish I could change, was just going back and telling my younger self, Yo, please, please save the- please don't just keep the boxes and the manuals. Boxes and manuals, don't. <laughs> keep them pristine. I think this is the only other thing in this game that I, I kind of wish was different, was just, I don't know, not getting charged to get rid of rubbish. Like, I'm cleaning up the town, I shouldn't be charged for it. Where is that cable? <laughs> Hold on. I'm plugging my headset into the 3DS. Where is that damn cable? I'm tired of missing fish. Somewhere here. Here it is. Ah. It's like a, uh, a headphone jack cable. There we go. Now it's plugged in. <laughs> now the sound is in real time. It also sounds a little better, but it's okay. Because it's not operating on wireless mode anymore. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll do one of, the, one of them. I think I'm romanticizing playing Pokemon Red again a little too much. It could be one of these things that maybe I'm just the only one who's into it. Because, <laughs> you know, as much as I loved those games as a kid, I think if I was to play them again, they would be very slow. Because there's no modern conveniences in it. Like, you don't run. You walk. And just some parts of those games took forever to get through. Like the Rock Tunnel and um, the... Oh, Victory Road. Ugh. 
or having to do things in the safari zone. Like, the stress of the safari zone. All those Zubat, yep. One, th one thing I read once was like an article going into just the insane odds of Chansey as a Pokemon. It's like, to f so Chansey is only found in the Safari Zone. And it's found in a zone at the back of the Safari Zone, so you can't even get there right away that quickly. So, by the time you get there, you only have like a set number of steps you can take. And then Chansey's odds is something like... It's less than 10% to find a Chansey in that area. And then, because of the way the, the Safari Zone thing works, it's like every time you throw a ball, again, it's like a less than 10% chance that you're going to catch it. And it's like a 50% chance that it runs away, or some some something really stupid that makes you go, how the hell was I so patient as a kid to catch that thing? It's something where the odds are just so insanely low to catch her. It's something that they fixed later in other games, but there were so many things about red and blue that were just busted and annoying. Can't you buy it at the gambling place? Not Chansey, no. Dratini you could. Chansey, the only place to find it was um, in the Safari Zone. I think in yellow they changed it. It might have been that in yellow you could, but in I'm talking about just red and blue. Because in yellow, they changed a bunch of things to make it better. But yeah, the process of getting all three starters. <laughs> You'd have to play the game up until a certain point before you could trade it. Alright, I'll be back. I gotta sell. So, it would have to do all that stuff to finish the game properly. But I don't think anyone truly appreciates what was required to catch them all back then. Because that was, I guess, the purpose. That concept is, I guess, kind of lost these days. It's, it's really hard to do that. I don't think you can even reasonably do that anymore. Wait, you remember as a kid, you thought Dratini was so rare, and you found one in your game, and your brother told you to put it back so he can find it on his game. He didn't understand he had to find it in his game. <laughs> what? Oh, that's, that's, cr that's crazy. How did he think, how did he think that the games magically communicated with one another? I mean, I fell for some things as a kid. I did, but I don't think I would have thought something like that. Like, I, 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 will, I will say that I, uh, I tried to push that truck behind the SSN a few more times than I would like to admit. And uh, also did the Elite Four um, more times than I would like to admit in the hopes that I would fight Professor Oak. I, I fell for a, bun a bunch of different things. It's okay. Sometimes as kids we do things. But in hindsight it's like, yeah, I can't believe I, I thought that. He was very upset with you, I bet. And it's just one of those situations where you, you can't say anything to make it better. Because it's just, in his mind, it's like, no, you're the one being unreasonable.
You try it with um ah. Have you learnt your lesson, Colton? You want me to let you out? What is it? You again, we're meeting a lot today, check it. So what can I do for you? He tried to run over to me. You're still on timeout. I suppose I should go dispose of this trash, huh? It's only gonna get worse. If I could change three things about this game. The trash. That you get charged for it. The fact that there's no auto stack. I don't know how that came to be. Did I do the missing number thing in red and blue? Everyone did the missing number thing. <laughs> I'm- it's one of those things that I'm- I'm just amazed at. It's like, the internet wasn't a big thing at all, and yet somehow that thing went around the world and back. You know, how to do that. I- I don't even remember where I learnt about it. I don't. It was like a play- it was a playground thing for sure, like someone found out about it and then they told all their friends and they told all their friends and... Just... It's one of those things that just got around. You were mad at your brother for using the last for a candy so you couldn't do it anymore. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That is horrible. Four hundred bells. I can't believe that. I really want some of my stuff to sell. Oh, so Paul is here. Let's just wait. Oh, there you go. I missed- I missed the window, damn it. Alright, wait for her again. Just wait for- wait for it to happen again. Go and buy my stuff. Buy it. Do it. You know you want to. Deal of the century. Do it. accidentally looked in the wrong direction. It'll happen again. Just gotta give it time. I just remembered. I have to... I have to go see, uh... Blanche. I almost forgot. We might be a little bit late. I think I'm fishing in the doorway. Okay.
There we go. Thanks for coming. My home is your home. Quite so. Oh, this is... Very Japanese. Alright, I'm just gonna make myself at home, Blanche. Wake, wake me up in an hour. <laughs> I've been getting invited to someone's house and then they do that. But I mean, it's like everything fits together. I've been looking forward to this. Go ahead and look around. Alright, I looked around. Picking up some nice decorating tips? I did. You seen the audio equipment there. My home would just be too quiet without it. I try to keep the place nice for guests. Just don't break out the white glove and look for dust, okay? Who does that? Okay, well, that's it, right? <laughs> the contents seem to be arranged in a precarious way. I'm gonna touch your stuff! Jungara. I'm so embarrassed about the mess. Please look straight ahead and ignore the dust bunnies. This is considered messy? This is messy. This is messy. No, this is not messy. Not in the slightest. Okay, it's time to go. We're good. We visited. Leaving already? Well, you have to tell me what you think of your place, quite so. It's, it's great, it is. I'm so happy you feel that way, quite so. I really wanted to impress you, Will. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Leaving already? I just feel like uh, I'm being guilted constantly by them. Okay, hopefully someone's still in the shop and will buy stuff. Oh. Ah! I was going for the net. Alright. Paula's been circling this outfit. Paula, come on. I know you want, want to buy this. You want to buy this, yes? You purchase this now, yes? You take home, yes? It's good. Oh. There, there, there. Yes. Man, what do I do? I want my own patchwork sofa, but at this price, I don't know. What do you think? Go for it. I have no horse in this race, I promise. Alright, I'm gonna do it. It just feels like destiny. Excuse me, I'll be having this item. Okay. I'm just gonna give you the cash directly. Easier that way. I don't even know how much I was selling it for. I think I got a pretty good deal here. Because I'm smart. Alright, cool. I need to let the villagers put stuff for sale here, so then I buy it. But that's good, I got a sale. <laughs> I made back the money that they charged me for recycling. I just realized.
they scam you a lot in this game. Yeah, I mean... It's a slice of life, is like, you get thrown into debt. And then you get enticed with even more luxuries to get thrown into even more debt. That. I can't tell what that is. Sparrow's Nest? No. What is this? Metal flagpole. D d that can have a flag inside. put this outside or is this just like a I can only have it an indoors thing I have yet to see um like you can't place this outside right yeah you can't that's where New Horizons like does it better be like, you know, someone that has a flag behind their bed. It, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I can make it the town flag, but sure. Also, somehow there's, there's wind in here. Explain that one. Is my window open? Ah, uh, doubt it. The window looks a little bit painted on. Just, just a little bit painted on. Okay, that's a new one. What? That missed? Okay, well. Alright, I'm going back to fishing. I don't think catching bugs gives you nearly as much money. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's much better. <laughs> I can feel the difference. What was that? I think that was a bug. Shock. They sell well. What? <laughs> hey, where are the big fish? It's all tiny stuff. That's new. More eel. And I was like, no way deal. <laughs> oh dear. It's going to the museum. That's another one going to the museum. more do I have left? Uh, three. Okay. Another one, I got to sell one.
I have not failed. Like, it, it really does make a difference being directly plugged into the 3DS. Donation first and salt. Just the three. <laughs> Sleep on the job. Well, I mean, he is an owl in his daytime. When I play New Horizons, he'd always be awake because I'd be playing at nighttime. New Horizons is harder to play because I kind of have to play. I can't be playing it now because the store isn't open or anything. There would be something that I'd be playing at a lot sooner. At least initially. I know later you can do ordinances so then the shops open later and stay open later. But that doesn't happen right away. Can't I change the time on the switch? It's a hassle to do that. And then if I need to, like, go on the shop, it's gonna complain that the time is incorrect, and it's just annoying. And if I need to do something during the day, there's always the option of visiting someone else's island and just being like, Hey, I need to sell stuff. Or let me come fish on your island. Here I don't really have that option as the game is uh, quite old. And not a whole lot of people play it. fish found that river fish do not sell for nearly as much. Crawfish. Not a new one. Mm. 
you put, you turn the sound off on your TV and get your daughter to read the subtitles so she reads. It's like a funny middle ground. For us, it was always like, get your homework and reading done or nothing. It's like, if we wanted to watch anything, it had to be homework and reading. So apparently I got that one already? I don't know. All the good cartoons would come on at like 4.30. So we'd get home from school and like have an hour to get stuff done before the good stuff started. Out of school for the summer, no homework. Ah. Right. Other side of the world. Different seasons. Didn't click. I mean, we still had to read, even though we were on holidays. Like, we'd go to the library and have to, well, not have to, but we'd pick out a book to bring back and read. incentive was if we would we would be able to like play more games I should just have the headphones on <laughs> This fishing has gone so much better since I plugged in. She wants to sleep in and watch TV all day. See, the sleeping in part, I, I can sympathize. I was like that. Getting up at seven on school holidays, ugh. <laughs> I would have complained. It was like I... I could not, I could not be asleep past nine in the morning, that was the deal. Let's see if this river fishing is worth it. It probably isn't. I tend to lean to the ocean more. She wants to be up all night and sleep all day, but see, some people are wired that way. I mean, as a kid, it's no good, right? But like, could be something that 
it's just it's just a thing. It's like for me, that's how I've always been. I can stay up as long as I I want. I can't get up as early as I want. <laughs> I prefer nighttime. Not sure which one's worth worth more. I think these aren't really worth anything. We'll see. All right, donating time. How am I going with this thing? I'll check the bottom screen. Okay, so I mean... Roughly half it would appear on the fish. Bugs... Okay, like a third. This, nowhere near done. I always just... I don't know, I'm lazy with the bugs. It's because I like to run around everywhere and it just scares them. I don't know if I should be buying stuff from the flower store. I feel like I probably should be, just in case it has an upgrade. Okay, so down to uh, less than a hundred thousand. I'll have a look at what bugs I can catch. Ok, 
Okay, that's a new one. Another new one. I don't know if I've caught the wasps yet, but I'm kind of afraid to try it. Oh, how did I miss? I think. Haha. <laughs> okay, never mind, I got it. When I played New Horizons, it took a very long time to get the bugs. Because I just, I really did not get many early on. Fruit beetle. Okay, that's new. more slots. Okay. I bet it makes nowhere near the money. I can't tell which tree it's on. That's hard to do. One more, two more.
There we go. Alright, donate and then see how much it sells for. But I bet it's not going to be a lot. <laughs> it's going to be nothing compared to the fish. If only he knew. If he hates bugs, I give him four, he has no problem. I give him one, he gets super scared. You know what? Not as bad as I thought it would be. Kinda decent. Don't owls eat bugs? Probably, yeah. I mean, doesn't like the sight of him, maybe... alive? They eat small rodents, so... I would assume that, um, yeah, that's the kind of owl Blathers is, is just doesn't, doesn't go for the bugs, goes for the tiny animals. I think they eat smaller birds as well, like, they're, they're kind of vicious. Yeah, honestly, I thought this was going to be worse in terms of money making, but it's it's not that bad. <laughs> Damn it. I made a big dent in the bridge, so... Ah, oh, damn, I didn't see that. I didn't hear the sound. Yeah, this is just because me and catching bugs. I'm just lazy. I like running... 
So a lot of these basic ones I won't have. Ah, got scared. This one's the ones that are... Oh, that's a new one as well. Damn. I was gonna sell it, but now I have to donate it. Tiny screen, so hard to tell. I should have it closer to my face, but I don't think the cable reaches. There we go. Five more, okay. Four more. There's a big money one. Three. unfortunate. Two. <laughs> but it hit the tree, like I- you, you can hear the net hitting the tree. And it misses somehow. Okay, one more. I think, right? Yeah. Alright, got it. Donate and sell. Kind of dressed to go work in in a restaurant, <laughs> just a little bit. Or you know what? It's all it almost looks like the outfit that uh, 
I was wearing in like a dragon. The Shinsengumi captain outfit. That's it. I mean, if this gets me like at least 5,000, this is definitely the better way to do it. That's not bad. I mean, given how quickly I got them. It would have been closer to 5,000 had I not had to donate the others. It's just, man, depth perception and this sometimes is difficult. He's in timeout. You only get a quarter of the price from selling to the Noxton at retail. It's true, but at retail you have to wait for someone to buy it, so it's like, in the time you wait you can do multiple trips. It's like, amount of money made in an hour would probably even out if no one's buying at retail quickly. Like, in the time it takes to sell one bug at retail, could I sell four realistically at Nooks? I think retail makes sense for furniture that is rarer. Because you don't come across it that often, but for stuff like bugs... I think it makes more sense to just sell it at Nooks, because you can just get more of them quicker. I think if I wasn't streaming this, I would probably try to use retail more. It's just the problem is you kind of have to stand around until they go, Oh yes, I want to buy this. And it doesn't make for the best stream when you're just standing in one spot waiting. Oh, I am lucky that did not move. I'm not even sure how that didn't even... Oh, it's a shell. That's why. Okay, well, I don't have one of those. They're not worth much anyway. There we go. Thank you. 
Oh wow, I didn't even see that. Okay. Yeah, quite clearly I, I am getting to the point where my like eyes are getting tired. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> it's okay if you're internally screaming a little. Apparently I do that a lot. too close to the tree. No, that's gone. <laughs> uh, I think this might have to be my last lot of bugs. I'm not I'm not playing very well. be a bug there. It's gone. <laughs> what is going on? Why is my aim all of a sudden so bad? Okay. Thank you. gonna fly away. Three more. That's better. Alright. Donate and sell. Have you learnt your lesson yet, Colton? Are you going to try and scam me again?
can't believe that was a thing. I'll have to keep this in mind. These bugs don't don't sell too badly. South, come, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should really, really use just the D-pad to confirm stuff. Donate the 10k to the bridge. I'm getting there. Come out. I have given you the freedom. <laughs> um, well, chat, I gotta leave it here for tonight. It's past midnight here. Ignore the time on the screen. But Colton is out of timeout since I'm wrapping things up for the night. Uh, but I want to say thanks for tuning in today. Uh, yeah, we'll do more of this for sure. Tomorrow, I'll probably do uh, some Final Fantasy, because I didn't do it today. Uh, I just wanted to kick back and chill, so that's why we did Captain Toad and this. It's just games that... Relaxing, you know? So, we'll return to Final Fantasy tomorrow. Uh, yeah. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, and hopefully you had a good time as well. If you want to support the channel over here, just uh, be sure to click buttons, or maybe... If two videos have popped up on your screen, you might want to watch some other stuff I've played through. So, hope you do. 